Guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the free hours. I got bored of the countdown, so I just did the intro. I was going to so. say, yeah, we got to, what fourteen <laughs> seconds left, about and then it went off. Oh, yeah. yeah. um, how's it going, mate? You know, pre-season started now. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but not bad at all. It's bloody hot there, I tell you. It's really hot. It's probably hot where you are and where I am, mate. It's not too bad here. I think we're, we're sick. I don't think we've broke twenty degrees. To be honest with you, mate. Yeah. Um, and it's cloudy. It's one of the worst summers I can remember over here. But yeah, the weather. I mean, you you looking a bit toasty yourself, mate. Well, yeah, uh, two, <laughs> two sports days last week, so uh, I was out in the sun all the time. Really burnt my shoulders yesterday. I don't know if Ooh, you can see it. Oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice to have the hot weather. Thirty degrees all next week, so it's really nice. Jeez. <laughs> um, morning to you, Duncan, mate. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday morning. Good um, morning. Is it morning? Yeah, it's morning. It makes a change for us today in the morning, doesn't it? Where doesn't should it? we start? Where should we start? Let's start with that pre-season game, actually. Let's start with that. Um, yeah, I only watched the first half, to be honest, because I was a bit busy for the second half. Um, you know, good to get the win. They were a fit team. That Listen, they're not a great team. They're, they're not a team that you would expect to do us or anything. Their goalkeeper was terrible. Yeah. They had a few absolute worldy shots up <laughs> at the bar mm. and from about 40, 50 yards out. Yeah, um, no, like you say, mate, it was just good to good to be watching West Ham back, to be honest. Um, obviously, most of the first team still away. Um, load, load of kids played. Um, but that's what you want to see, you know, for pre-season. You want to see these kids given a chance. It's their chance, isn't it? It's their chance because that level of team is what I'm expecting to see. Mm. Early Europa League uh, conference games, maybe even then playoff games. And it's, you know how well can David Moyes rotate that team next season? Mm-hmm. And how can, can he trust, you know, some of these young pups to step up? Any uh, any standouts for you? I do like Ashby, mate. I've got to say, I, I think Ashby's really, really good right back. But it's such a hard position to get into. I I, I mean, I, I agree, mate. It, to me, he was the standout player. Um, I thought he looked really good. Um, I, I, I said it at the time. I think he's better than Johnson. I do. I, th- I think Ashby actually has an Johnson. attacking threat as well. Yeah, mate. He's really good going forward. He's quick. Um, he's quite strong. I don't know. He he seems he feel he seems like a more confident player than Johnson as well. Um, I, I'm re- really impressed. He by actually him. reminds me um, a little bit of what Cresswell was like when he first came. Mm. You know, because Cresswell was a lot like that. A lot, like he had a bit more pace yeah. back there, and he he, put he didn't. Well. He put in some really good crosses as well. Whipped them right across the box. Like he weren't scared of putting a ball in, which I think is a problem a lot of the time we have when we get our fullbacks forward, especially Johnson. Um, they they they're a bit scared to cross it in. Do you know what I mean? They like they they wait and hesitate and let it wait for the hold up. Um, but yeah, he, he was he looked really good. What about um, um, any other ones? Um, Alessi. You know, he's yeah, doing calm on the Ale- ball. I think Alessi looked fine, yeah. Goal. I think he looked good. Um, I don't think... Uh, it, there was a couple of times... Uh, was it, it wasn't Alessi. It was, uh, was it Longello started on the left-back position where Zuma kind of put him under pressure with some bad passes a couple of times. That was second half, wasn't it? That was second half because Cresswell was left-back first half. Oh, you're right. Yes, yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, uh, St- Coventry was solid in the middle. You know, kept things ticking over. Um... The 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 kid who scored um Bu- Mubama Mubama yeah um I didn't he, see the goal I didn't see the second half so I, I don't know how both good he both, both goals were like the goalkeeper was uh, really really bad um so they were both kind of tappings um but he's he's you know supposed to be really I thought of in the club uh, a big prospect um it's just good to see options Lanzini you know? looked quite sharp as well. He yeah, did. Touching um, the ball nice. Masuaku looked all right, playing on that uh, left side, playing a bit more advanced. And here's um, one for you, mate. Um, a lot of channels have been talking about him. Saeed Benrahma, mate. It's becoming very frustrating, isn't it? I've got to say. Yeah. Um, you know, even at an early pre-season game like that, you know, he should be, you know, running the show, really. Yeah. I mean, he, sh- he should have been the best player on the pitch. Mm. And he just wasn't, you know, and and yeah, you know, you can't you can't really judge players on preseason games. It's not really fair to do that. But the one that summed it up was he had he had an open goal and he managed to put it wide. Mm. And you just think it like it it doesn't matter if it's a preseason game or not. Like you that that's 
I, I don't know. He just he, that kind of it's it's unfair to just dig him out over one mischance. Players miss chances all the time, but that moment kind of just summed it up for me. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It was like a cul- culmination of everything of what is going wrong with say Ben Rama. Yeah, like, uh, ironic says here, Benny calls them issues. Yeah, he, 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 listen, he had moments, but I think that's that game again, like you said, mate, it's pre season, but that sums up what Ben Rama is about. Mm. You know, he should be doing bits and then doesn't. Do, do you expect him to still be here? I think if a left winger comes in, he's gone. I, I mean, I don't, I, I think I don't want him to would, go. I, I think it's a difficult one. I, I think we sell him if a good offer comes in, but. I don't know who's coming in to buy him, mate. Who's coming in to buy him at the well, money? There's no one want. above us. No, no one above us is going to come in. You would expect. I would say out of the clubs that would be the biggest to maybe go and get him is someone like Everton. If you're talking at a club of a good level, I, I, I think Everton would be looking above him as well, mate. I, yeah. I, realistically, the only club Brentford, I could see coming in for him is Brentford. Fulham. Yeah. You know, Brentford. I could see him going back there, but. Yeah, I don't know, mate. I think I think if an offer came in, we'd let him go. But I don't know where that offer's going to come from. Mm. Would you be disappointed if he stayed? That's another question as well. I wouldn't be disappointed if he stayed because we've got so little numbers anyway. We've got such a light squad as it is. You know, I will of the current squad we've got now. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be disappointed if any of them stayed. I, I wouldn't be like dancing if we sold anybody. Mm. Um, you know, I don't think anybody in the squad is that bad. But he he's definitely a player that, in my opinion, if if he did go, I wouldn't be too gutted about it. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's it. That's it, Duncan. His decision making has always been the problem. I think. I think that's always been the problem. I think he's the ability is necessary. It, it, the, the ability is there, but his decision making is awful. And yeah, like I say, that miss just summed it up. Uh, uh, Richie, uh, thanks, mate. Love this shirt. Um, this is a recent one. I got this one off of uh, eBay. There's a an eBay shop was selling it brand new with tags. It was like £12.50 or something, mate. Have a look. One thing I will say though, these are proper tight fitting, like proper <laughs> tight fitting. You want to, if, you, if you're going to get one, get a couple of sizes up. <laughs> nice colour as well. See the claret blue. blue, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would like to see him start a lot more games to build confidence. Uh, then we'll see the best of him. Again, another question: Is he playing in these in the right position? Is he better in the number ten? Does mm-hmm. David Moyes trust him at number ten? There's loads of questions there, but uh, we will see. Um, yeah, we did wear the new kit, mate. Talking of kits, um, obviously we've not spoke about that. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't mind it actually. I, I, I like it. Bad. I like. I, I've. I. I actually really like the kit itself. I think it could have been better. Um, I think if it had more of the pattern on the shirt itself, I would have loved that. But I actually like it. I really like it. My problem is, is it shouldn't be the away kit. That should have been the third kit. Yeah, I think the away kit, I think I've seen it. I think it's white with like similar sort of thing on the sleeve. The last I saw from, I can't remember who, who what someone in the know said it, uh, but apparently the away kit's not white. Um, mm. But yeah, for me, I, I really, the, the away kit, I really like it, but it should have been the third kit. If it was the third kit, I would have been happy. The away kit should be white, sky blue, navy. They're 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 on rotation. Stick to that. Home shirt, claret and blue. Away shirt, rotate white, navy, sky blue. And then the third kit, go nuts, do what you want. Mm. For me, that's not a West Ham away shirt. It would have been a brilliant third shirt, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what the away shirt actually. Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. the third shirt actually looks like. Yeah, Andy Smith. There, someone said it's a solid orange. Orange, an orange mm. third kit. Uh, Benny will come good. Um, yeah, quite a few assists and goals last season. Plus, we didn't. Yeah, no, no. Listen, I'm not denying he's. Uh, you know, he got good goals and good assists, but he did become a bit frustrating towards the end. Um, yeah. oh, here we go. Thoughts on so check and Villa. Um, I can't believe we're thinking of sending him, especially when Rice goes. Yeah, let's go on to transfers now. So let's talk about potential outs with so check. Yeah, I would be quite disappointed if we sell him. You know, we can't be, you know, that fickle to be like, oh, he had one bad season. Um, let's get rid of him. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? It's, he had to play a hell of a lot of football last year in a yeah. new role to free Rice into that new role. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if he does go, mate. It wouldn't surprise me, but I would be disappointed as well. I think the thing, I think the uh, the biggest 
thing with that is the whole contract situation. Um, you know, he wants a pay rise. Personally, on the back of last season, he doesn't really deserve a big pay rise. Um, and there's this thing rumbles going on there about him signing a new contract. So it wouldn't surprise me if he did go, but I would be disappointed. I would yeah, be. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I, I don't think we should be sending him, especially, you know, what we got now, three midfielders. Obviously well, that's we'll, it, mate. We'll talk about one we sold in a minute. but yeah, yeah, that's it. I mean, like I say, you look at the you look at the, the friendly game and Coventry played 90 minutes. You could say that's Moyes wanted to get a proper look at him, but there was nobody else to bring in. It, mm. Who could who could have came on for Coventry? Yeah, there, no. there, there's we've got no one there. Um, same for um, Ashby at right back. You know, like yeah, we've got Johnson and Sue Fowl, but they were both away. Like I say, our squad is so light. Our squad is so thin. We don't. I, I don't want to see us how we are now. I don't want to see us sell anybody, really. I don't want to see us sell any, anybody. No. I want to see us build on what we've got. If if you don't think Suchek is necessarily good enough, all right, well, we've signed Downs, obviously. You know, we're if bringing another midfielder. We've got some numbers there. You know, imagine having Suchek to be a, a, a sort of backup centre mid or coming off the bench or whatever. That's what you want. I, I, yeah, I don't really want to sell anybody now. I think we should just build on what we've got. Yeah, Kent Emma says, at this precise moment in time, uh, we don't need to sell anybody until we replace players that have mm. gone. I think we need at least another five players then look to sell. Uh, one of the ones that could looks like he definitely will be getting though, mate, is it's a deal. Um, mm. Looks like he's, that's pretty much done. Yeah, rumours, I think it's about 17 million, I think, mm. uh, to Fulham. Not bad. Not bad. I, I have to say that's not too bad a price. Um, would you have liked to have kept him or do you think... I would have kept him yet. Yeah. I'll predict that he will go, he will leave Fulham in a couple of seasons for a lot more than that. That's my prediction now. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we should, uh, I don't think we should sell him. And again, it, you know, so the, goes, we, the thing is, mate, when he, where does he, where was he in the pecking order? If you say Zuma and a good starts, yeah, Oggy's third choice if he's well, gets back to so any it, level. There you go. That's that's the thing, isn't it? You know, Ogbonna's 34, which for an Italian centre-back is nothing really. But he's 34. He's coming off of a lot, a big injury. What if he breaks down again? Hmm. You know, we've got Dawson, who's... What, what's Dawson? 32? Um, yeah, 30, 32, I think. Yeah, 32. So Dawson's getting on a bit, you know... <sighs> I, I don't. I don't know. I, again, we're we're so light already. I wouldn't have sold him. You know, if to have um, Diop, uh, Diop, Aguer, Zuma, um, Ogbonna, Dawson. All right, five centre backs. I suppose that is quite a lot. So you would need to let one of them go. Is Diop the one I'd sell? I don't know. I don't know, mate. I don't know. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard because if again, it's ifs. But if Oggy does come back to any sort of level that he was. Mm. You know, he's arguably the best centre back, even better than Zuma. If you know, if mm. he comes back to full fitness, mm. it's difficult. It's hard, it, it is. It is difficult. Mm. And we don't know. With, and the thing is, as well, with a good, we don't know whether he's any good yet. No, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, we're sitting here saying, "Oh, it's Zuma and a good." He might not be any good. We, we don't he could know. be the next Roger Johnson. You know, you yeah, don't know, dear. We just don't know. He might be the Pogatets. We, we don't know. Um, I wouldn't uh, be looking to sell Sojek, Benny, or Fornells. Uh, but if a decent offer comes in, they're not irreplaceable. I don't want to be selling Pablo as well. I'm a big Pablo fan. Um, and he's just, he's calm on the ball. His work rate's really good. I'm not saying necessarily that he's even a starter next year, uh, Four Nails. But, you know, there's definitely a place in the squad for Four Nails, isn't there? Surely. Oh, of course there is, yeah. Four Nails, <clears throat> excuse me, Four Nails, I think Moyes trusts him massively. Um, I, I honestly think. In David Moyer's mind, after um, Declan Rice and Jared Bowen, four nails is there next on the team sheet. Mm. Um, I'd be, I would be surprised if he isn't starting regularly next season, mate. I would, I would like to see um, a proper left-sided midfielder come in, a proper left winger come in, move four nails in the middle, you know. And I think that's probably what will happen. Yeah, we'll talk about uh, some incomes in a minute. Uh, Benny not quick enough slows down attacks and not an out and out winger. More a ten or a floater in front of the, uh, with a license to roam. Yeah, uh, we lost Noble and Crow, so we need Sochek even if it's for cover. Yep, 
four competitions and five subs. We need to grow the squad. We definitely do, John. I, I did a video like that the, the other day. Um, agree with what you're saying. We need to stop thinking in terms of first 11 and think more about first 20. Uh, we could play 50, 60 games this season. We need mm. rotation. Um, we need to. We need a sell-on clause for Diop. Yeah, that's a good Definitely, point. Definitely, yeah. Um, of Bonham and Dawson, only another year or two left in the squad. Uh, maybe loan Diop for a year to Fulham. Mm. Yeah, that's a good shout. Uh, but I think he wants quick money. You know, he, he needs money for, you know, the players we're going to be talking about in a minute. Um, Issa is a big mistake to sell now. Um, have two left-sided centre-backs, uh, Dawson Oggy, aging a bit. Big mistake. Um, maybe Moyes is still looking for under 23s. Yeah, maybe it's a lesson mm. term, mate. Or back to the other one, isn't it? Um, it's a relief to get Ariola signed, but who do you think will be number one after Fabio Jansky this year? But yeah, let's move on a little bit. Um, Ariola, Ariola it has to be Ariola. It has to be. Um, he know, wouldn't have signed. He wouldn't have signed if he weren't given that promise. Yeah, I, I agree, mate. I agree. I, I think he has to be our number one next year. Um, yeah, and listen to have Fab in the uh, Conference League and the cup games. It ain't a bloody bad goalie, is it? Do you know what I mean? Mm. To have as your backup goalie. Um, you change this squad too much, by the way, of sales. You won't achieve uh, the positions we have recently. That's true. You don't. You don't want to make too many changes because mm. then it, you know, you break that ethos up. Um, Wally uh, Wally Downs. No, he's the old coach, isn't he? Uh, Flynn Downs. Flynn Downs has come in. Um, listen, I can't say I know much about him at all. Um, I did watch the video mm. that's going around YouTube. I, should, I assume you might have seen it as well, mate. Um, the way Swansea played football. Is very much like Man City. Uh, their manager admires Pep Guardiola. You know, high possession, moving the ball around. He plays in their team the Kevin De Bruyne role. Listen, I'm the man is not Kevin De Bruyne by any stretch of the imagination, but I liked what I see. I liked his touches. I liked how comfortable he was in possession, the way he passed the ball. Um, and a big thing, mate. He's a West Ham fan. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and that is a big thing, you know, massive... Um, when you advantage. lose someone like Noble as well. Well, to me, mate, like I say, I, I was watching a couple of videos. I like videos of him. And to me, he's a modern-day Mark Noble. That's, you know, he loves a tackle. He loves a slide tackle. He's probably going to pick up quite a few yellow cards. Um, depending on... And this is the thing, how much, like, we don't know how much he's going to play yet. We don't know, you know, how Moise is going to use him. Um, but, yeah, you know, uh, kind of... Under the radar signing happened very quickly. Um, I don't think any in, in, in the in the oh, nose. Rare for us, mate. Rare, you know. Crystal uh, Palace looked like he was going Crystal Palace, and then Bush done within twenty four hours. Yeah, him. great to see. And like I say, you know, we'll see. We'll see how he does. You know, he looked good in in uh, in the video clips. I say I, I can't say I really knew anything about him before we signed him. Um, and looking forward to seeing more of him. And as you say, mate, having a, a West Ham boy is always good. Uh, always good to see. Um, and to, yeah, to me, like I say, he looks like a modern day Mark Noble. Um, yeah. so, which uh, it, they, they, that's that's Mark's replacement, you know. Really well, good. yeah, it's such an important position, you know. If he if he if um, Downs does go on and be a success, you know, we we're going to talk about it. Declan Rice will go next summer. You know, if if he can be, you know, even half a player that Declan Rice is, he's ready to go next year. And he's that West Ham fan in the middle of the pitch, the, probably the most important position on the pitch. Mm. I, hope you, I hope we see quite a lot of him, to be honest with you. I really do. I, mm. I hope this isn't another crowd situation where we bring in a player and then don't use him. Or even Vlasic. That's another one we didn't talk about, mate, in terms of ours. Mm. Um, surely he's going to go, surely. same. It's the same thing as Ben Rama, mate. Um, I, again, I think if an offer came in, we'd sell him. But who's coming in? Did he come on the other day? Did he, did he play at all the no. other day? No. Interesting. So yeah, yeah. You, like I say, you know who's who's coming in for him. Who's who's going to buy him up? No, mm. I think Vlasic is still away. He wasn't in the squad. Um, I think no. he's still away. Uh, Kent Hammer says tremendously, tremendous. This is obviously Downs. Uh, tremendous technical ability, long or short passing, can tackle but intercepts more. Uh, can play deep to dictate play, but further forward in centre mid. Homegrown, twenty-three fast experience. Yeah, he does looks really, really, really tidy player. Really, really tidy. Um, I think we need one more centre midfielder on top of Downs um, or Nana for 35 million. Um, if we can't get him, uh, then try Sangre for 40 minutes. Obviously, on Nana, we've had a bid rejected, I believe. 
about 24 million, wasn't it? For him, yeah, I did, I did see that. I did, I think it was yesterday. I saw that we were, I think that's the next back position. That you, I, I think that's uh, what, what type of midfielder would you want though? Are you, you know, are you looking for an athletic midfielder, or are you looking for a box to box? What sort of player does that centre midfielder be? Obviously, Yuri Tillemans we're linked with as well. That will not happen. Um, but I think, yeah, a Yuri Tillemans style player is what we need. Mm. You know, just someone a little bit or like a D Army, you know, like Mo D Army back in the day. Just a bit of a, a monster in the midfield. Yeah, I think for me, uh, you know, Onana and Sanger, I'd rather have Sanger, I think. Mm. Um, I don't think he'd cost um, as much as 40 million. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're trying to bring uh, that type of midfielder in. Um, it's it's interesting, you know. Again, we need we need those numbers. Crowell's gone, Noble's gone. Are you happy with the business so far? Do you, do you think we're on the right track? Yeah, we are. But and and again, I said this last time. It's a good start. It's a good start. You know, there's still a lot of work to do. Yes, we've got goalkeeper sorted. Brilliant. Bought a centre back in, fantastic. But then if we lose Diop, I'll be a little bit worried. Um, I think we'll be short there potentially next season, uh, depending on if Moyes is going to play the kids or not. We desperately need a left back still. Mm. Um, you know, we need winner. another we need another central midfielder. Like you say, another I four think, at least. Another, another I don't, I don't actually I don't think we need a left winger, but it would be nice to get a left winger in and we desperately need a striker. You know, we, there's still a lot of players that we need. There's still a lot that we need. It's a good start, good start, but there's still a lot of work to do. Yeah. yeah um, Bajon, Bajon still raw but strong and went for a... Oh, he's obviously Brozier. Uh, listen, that's the guy I want. There's, there's no yeah. doubt about it. That's who I want. Um, has I, think been, it, I, I think that will happen. I'm quite confident. Yeah, I'm, I'm weirdly confident. Usually... You know, when names like that come up, you're like, no, nah, West Ham ain't going to do it. We're, we're going to get done by Newcastle or someone like that. Um, he hasn't gone to the USA with Chelsea. Um, only Everton, I believe, are, are linked with him. I think Newcastle, he doesn't want to go that far. Would you really want to go to Everton? Really? They're a bit of a dying fish at the minute. They're not, they're not a really good team at the minute. Yeah, no, um, I, I think that will happen. I think that will happen before the end of the window. And yeah, he, uh, of uh, of the strikers we link with, he's one I would love to see come in. Um, so much, as as Pat says there, raw, but so much raw potential. You know, really has got a I lot I don't of think it's going to be quick, though. Um, obviously, the Im imminent signing of Raheem Sterling helps that. Um, I think... We might have to wait until Cristiano and Ronaldo's linked with there, any and possibly another striker. I think we might have to wait for them to sign another striker before it happens. Mm. Then it will. But happen that's that's you know that that's that's obviously where Chelsea are looking this season. You know the players they're linked with, they're linked with Ronaldo, they're linked with Lewandowski. You know they're linked with though that level superstar, of player. Yeah, superstar. Yeah. So, uh, to, to be fair, you could argue aging, I'm, I'm not going to say past it because I don't think Ronaldo or Lewandowski, they're still two of the best strikers in the world by a, quite a stretch. But that's the that's where they're going. They're not looking at the likes of Broya. Do you know what I mean? No, no, they're looking for, you know, they want immediate success, don't they? So that, you know, they've got to try and get those quick fix players in yeah. that can do something. But yeah, um, yeah I'm quite confident. I'm, I'm quite confident with Brozier, but like I say, it's not going to happen straight away. Um, apparently, if we don't sign him, we're going to go in for another player, mate, that we've been linked with many times, Blackburn, uh, Ben Bretton-Diaz. Um, very quick. I think he scored about 25 goals last season. Did um, I thought I thought he kind of fell off last year. I, I, can't, I can't remember. I know, I know he had a good season. He, I, I know he there. had a really good first half of the season. And then I think but he might have him, injured. Armstrong... Obviously, Armstrong went to Southampton. It might have been the same year. Yeah, it might have been the year before, actually, mate. I think I'm pretty sure he, 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 did he, he got a pretty bad injury last year. Yeah, uh, I think you might be right, actually, mate. Yeah. I'm just trying to see now. Do, 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 do. Ben, <laughs> ben Diaz. Um, what did he get last year? Last season in the championship, hey, he, he still he's still got twenty two goals, mate. Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah, still, he's still you know got twenty two goals. So I believe he can yeah. play. Um, he um, he suits um, Moise's mantra. You know, wingers converted to strikers. I think he's more prone to play on the left wing 
The only uh, thing I'm looking at like now, I've got his stats in front of me. In the seasons before that, he scored seven goals the year before. Before that, it was one goal. And before that, it was one goal. Uh, so last year was like his announcement season. So, yeah, was it a, a one-off? I suppose it depends on um, it depends on the price, really, doesn't it? Mm. But I like him. Uh, I, why not? But why not sign both? Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one thing we are desperate for. I sit on West Ham fan TV, you know, and I agree. We're desperate for some pace as well. Mm. We've got no pace, no, nothing, have we? Like, is there any player you look at and go, "Oh, he, he, he's frightening"? Do you know what I mean? There's no, yeah. there's no one. No, no, we're not a quick team by any stretch. By any stretch. Now. I'm trying to think now. Fredericks was rapid, but he's obviously gone. I'm trying to think if is there Ed, there's no one. We don't have anyone in our team that's got that. No, you got you got pace. some players that are quite quick with a ball. You know, like you I say, mean, Rice you, you is, said, Rice is Rice deceptively, is deceptively quick. quick. Yeah, and Bowen's but fairly quick. None. Yeah, we haven't got that rapid like terrifying pace. Yeah, yeah. Terrifying. One player can't run anymore. That's definitely not happening now. Um, is Dan Juma? Mm -hmm. um, you know, apparently Moyes not happy. Didn't like his attitude and things like that. Was you a bit disappointed with that one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh to be honest, I think I think he would be he would have been a better player than uh, a better option than Lingard, obviously much younger, would have lasted a lot longer. Um I feel like he would be that sort of uh next level type signing for us. Yeah, disappointing, mate. Disappointing that we didn't get that one. Done. And he is quick. He, he is very mm. quick. Very, very quick. Um, yeah, that's you mentioned his name, mate. I thought we might go a show without mentioning his name, but we may as well. Um, apparently looking at options in the MLS now as well. Is it? Is this really a player we want now, man? No, honestly, Jesse Lingard. It, no. the, I don't want him now. I, no, I, I I've been saying that for, if he for signs, weeks. listen, I'm still going to be like, oh, well done. You know, he, he's a good player. He goes in our team and we'll probably at least score 10 goals in a season. But listen, if he really wanted to be, he'd be already. Yeah. No, move on. You know, move on. I've been saying this for weeks, mate. Move on. He, uh, and again, it's the same thing I say every single time. He's never going to be the player that he was last time he was with us. His wage demands are ludicrous. You know, this is a player that sat on the bench. You know, he's had he's had like a decent half season with us in how many years? You know, he spent the rest of that time sitting on the bench. He spent the last 12 months sitting on the bench. Did you and see, he thinks um, he can walk into a team and command 200 grand a week. Did you see Stuart Pearce on TalkSport this week at all? Um, I saw the quotes. I didn't, I, I did see the quotes from him, yeah. Yeah, he was saying about Lingard, like, you know, he had the best six months of his whole career at West Ham. And then, you know, we're disappointed that he didn't sign for us. And it just doesn't mm. make sense, you know, why he would not have signed for West Ham. It's, that doesn't make sense. I mean, we, we, you know, we said at the time, I understand why he did stay with Man United. You know, it's his boy, a club, team he supports. Ronaldo had just signed opportunity to play with Ronaldo back to his boy, a club after a really good six months, probably thought he could break, excuse me, could break into the team. Didn't work out. But when it didn't work out, it should have been last January. Uh, right. He should have been right. Right. Listen, you ain't playing me. I want to go back to West Ham because we obviously tried to get him in January. Mm. And now his contract's finished. It should have been right. Here we go. Boom. West Ham. Let's go. Yeah. But he's obviously, you know, it's his last contract. He wants to get a big contract, whatever. Fine. Fair play. Good luck to you, mate. But for me, for West Ham now, we should just say, all right, mate, good luck to you. I'll get you a good contract somewhere else. We're moving on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just on that Ben Bretton Diaz as well, mate. One thing I forgot to mention. Um, the reason we are heavily linked as well, I don't know if you read it, um, Mark Warburton, obviously the new assistant coach, his mm. daughter works for the agency that look after Ben Brett and Diaz. Mm. So that there's a you know there's quite a strong link there with that. So that'd be interesting to see what happens there. Um is Downs left foot right footed, left footed, or, or both? I think I think you can use both. He, he looks tidy on both feet, to be honest with you. Uh keep Benny. Sorry, keep Benny Sal or loan Vlasic. Um, what are your thoughts on Keen Lewis Potter becoming available again after the Brentford deal failed? Um, I think he's the answer to our left wing position. You listen, by all accounts, you know, the new Jared Bowen, but on the left hand side, if there's a chance to go and get him, I think you know, we always say it, mate. You know, there's players that you get one chance to get them, and mm -hmm. then the next time you ain't going to be able to afford them. And I think that's the case with Brozier as well. Mm -hmm. 
listen, if there's a chance to go and get King Lewis, but I would be all over it. All over. I, yeah, I, I agree completely. Yeah. Um, Grimondi at left back. Also, Harvey Barnes left wing. Uh, both at the same agency as Downs. I can't say he's getting Harvey Barnes. He's a good player. Good, good player at Leicester. Uh, Grimondi, though, I have seen that. I've seen that link. Have you seen that link, mate? I keep seeing that come up, that one. I don't think I have seen that one, though. No. That's yeah, interesting that one, though. Kept coming up the last couple of days. That's been coming up. We do one. desperately need a left back. Oh, 100%, mate. 100% need a new left back. Because teams just, you know, if anything, they have figured that out now. You know, you always call it, mate. You know, deep ball to the back post. You know, isolate Cresswell. How many times have we seen that? And if yeah. anything, Cresswell's, you know, his pace is going. We've seen the two red cards that he got last season. Teams are going to be looking for that. They're going to be looking yeah. for that next year. Uh, we need a midfielder that can uh, break a low block. Yep, that's definitely. Um, shame about Vlasic. Um, you want a Kiati type of player, uh, but with better feet. Yeah, definitely. Like, like the army. That, that's why I said the yeah. army. You know, the army, just a train. There's basically a train in that midfield. Um, I still think uh, we missed a good buy. 25 million on Basuma. Gutted he went to Spurs. Yeah, no, he's... Good player, obviously, he's got the lingering, uh, lingering legal stuff over his head. Uh, he got cleared, didn't he? Oh, he did. He did get cleared. Mm. Yeah. But for, God, 25 million is a fantastic price, then, isn't it? A fantastic mm. price. You can't argue, mate. Oh, listen, we hate Spurs on this channel, as most West Ham fans do. But uh, Conti ain't messing about, mate. He is no, they're going about, for it. Mate. And he's a fantastic manager. I know a lot of people don't rate him, which is weird to me. But um, mate, I would have yeah. put him past the winning the cup this year. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I don't think they're going to challenge the top two. No, 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 no. But they'll no. be up there. They will. Yeah. But mate, Leggett from Barcelona. Fantastic signing. Obviously, Perisic, Richarlison, Basuma. You know, these are not mess about players. They're bloody good players. We we should have been in for Lengle last year, I think. But now we've got Aguered, so we'll see who's better, I suppose, won't we? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> my, my long term said this yeah, in our little chat, mate. Yeah. Kessie, Barcelona, my, yeah. My long-term uh, target. Yeah, we should have been all over that, mate, when we had the chance. But, uh, again, that's, you know, another one of those situations I just said where, you know, get him when you can get him mm. because now you're never going to get him. Um, I'm very happy with the business so far. I think the next signing should be a left-back, yeah, or striker. Yeah. <laughs> left-back or striker. We need both. Um, looks like Brozier could be done. He hasn't travelled with Chelsea. Like I, said, I don't know what Thomas Tuchel's plan is. Is he going to play Raheem Sterling as a you know a false nine? Is it going to be Harvets there? You know, guy I work with is a big Chelsea fan who likes playing Harvets as the false nine striker. I don't know. It's interesting, isn't it? And they've still got Werner as well. Um yep. chance for Athenia could go there as well if yeah. you don't go Barcelona. He's gonna have a lot of options, isn't he? Mm. It'd be interesting to see how they line up next year. I'll I still I would still I, I think wages would be a problem, but I'll be all over Werner if he if they oh, hinted yeah. that he was going to leave. Yeah. I'll be all yeah, over him. Definitely, mate. Definitely, good player. Uh, left back is needed. Cresswell is showing his age and does not get past halfway line. Um, has to pass back or sideways. If we spend thirty million on Brozier, then we have been ripped off. Considering Abraham's went for thirty-five million. Um, and had loads of Premier League experience. You're shaking your head, mate. Go on, I'll yeah, you know. the only reason I'm shaking my head is because I don't think I don't think he'd cost that much. Maybe with add-ons, you know, if we if we get in the Champions League, if he's top goal scorer, blah blah blah. But I don't I don't think I don't think he would cost that much, mate. I really don't. I think 25 mil is the price. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's going to be um, around that sort of figure, like you say, mate, at 25, 27, and I think there'll be like a sweetener. An unspoken sweetener that they get first refusal on Declan Rice next summer. Mm. I do. I, 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 we have to be honest with ourselves. We do. He, he's gone next year. He is. He's mm. gone. He's gone. No, unless we get Champions League, which we ain't going to get. Um, why is Masuaku still here? Um, he costs us six or seven goals a season. I can't stand the games with him. I know Paul defends him all the time, but I, I don't like him. I, 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 I just, I just like, I like him. I mean, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to say he should be starting every game and I think he's a brilliant player. I, I just like watching him play. He's just entertaining. Um, yeah, I still I can't get over that skill that he did. Do you know what I mean? Against Tottenham. It's still, still one of I the best it, bits of skill I've seen from a West Ham player ever, I think. Yeah, I think it showed that in the friendly, he was playing left wing. He, mm. And I think, if he's going to stay with us, he's not a defender. He's never been a defender. He's never been a left back. Never. Um, 
you know, so he I looked think good. He... I think, uh, listen, if I'm going to defend him, um, he looked good when he was at left wing back a couple yeah. few seasons ago. You know, yeah, he looked I, good. I think yeah. left wing back, you know, left wing back, left left mid. I think that's where he will play. Um, but it, no, I, if you're talking about playing him as a left back, no, definitely no, not. Hundred no. percent, yes, he'll cost us goals. But if he does stay, and it's, again, it's the same question I had with the other players: who's coming in for him? Really, who's going to mm. come in for him? But if he does play, it, it, I think we'll see him play in those nothingy sort of early early round cup games. You know, the Europa League games. Maybe he'll be playing on the left, look, sort of attacking left mid. Um, yeah, uh, we need three more players mm. before this window. I think four. To be honest with you, I think four. Uh, King Lewis Potter did go, did go to Brentford. Would you go in for him? Yeah, I suppose I said didn't. Um, for me, uh, Koku or Unana as our next midfielder. Um, Koku, I think, could be a hidden gem. I'm not sure who that is. It is Koku. Oh, the only Koku I can think of is was it Philip? Philip Koku. Oh, no, he's he's old boy though. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Is the only yeah. one I can think he's, of. That's <laughs> when he's played for Netherlands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who's yeah. who's who is that? Let us or, Orkin. There's a guy called Orkin, Dutch club, uh, place with Feyenoord. It must be him. Yeah, can't, maybe is that him? Let us know. I can't say I know anything about it to be honest. No, I can't, I can't say I know. Um, I think we will sign. Sorry, we'll end up signing wide forwards like Corne or Saar. Obviously, yeah, they've gone a bit quiet them ones, Kent. That's a good point because we were heavily linked with them for a while. Um, and use as rotation forward. Uh, Stag gone on with your mic there, mate. Sorry, mate. Your mic's gone a bit. Yeah, there you go. It's better. Did you just? Oh, I was covering with my finger. Saying? That's why I was covering <laughs> with my finger. Um, I'd kill for us to go in for Ollie Watkins, mind you. Um, would fit the system. Yeah, I'd, I'd love Ollie Watkins, but again, um, yeah, unlikely at the minute, mate. Um, I think if we wanted Antonio replacement, Bree M. Bola uh, would be best fit. Yeah, I've heard of him. I've heard of him. He's a good player. Um, I put it out there to you, mate. Just try to carry on. Um, Adam Artre already still doesn't have a club pace, power. If he likes the Antonio style player, do you know? I so I've I've always always slagged him off. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. He did really well at Barcelona. Um, he did. He he looked a different player. I, I think he he did really well there. I'm surprised they haven't kept him on. To be honest. Mm. Um. Yeah, he. I, I think he looked really good. I never, I never rated him at Wolves. Um, I've always sort of slagged him off, no end product. But like I say, what, I watched him a few times for Barcelona, and he looked really good. So I can't, that kind of sort of swayed me a little bit. Yeah, I'd, I'd be more up for it now. Um, that's where, interesting. Where, would you play him up front? Would you give? No. Him, would, you, would you play him up front or left left wing cutting in on the right foot? No, I play him on the right wing. Um, but then Bowen then, don't, can't play. Yeah, well, yeah, there you go. So I suppose he can't play then, can he? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> can't sign him. No, I would right. love Alan St. Maxim, man, as well. He's another one I would love St. Maxim, man. I think, I think with Traore, again, it's price and wages. And I don't think West Ham is a team that can afford that luxury. But if you are a team like Barcelona or whatever, and you can have mm. a player like him to throw on and cause chaos yeah. as a substitute. I think he'll go to Tottenham, to be honest with you. I, I think he'll be Tottenham's like chaos player. Mm. Like, you, like you're saying, he would just come on and be the danger man at the end. Uh, do you think we'll get King Lewis Potter as it looks like the Burnley deal uh, has fallen through? Um, have we nicked blah, blah, blah? You, who knows, mate? Who knows? If it, you know, if we're really interested in him, we've shown how quickly we can get deals done with the Dan still, obviously, uh, this week. Mm. Uh, ben Bretton Diaz had half a season in his career, pony otherwise. Yeah, like I say, mate, I haven't seen much of him. I just know he scored quite a few goals. That's the only thing I don't really know about. Uh, do you think? Uh, yep, just answered that one. Loads of loans, loads for King Lewis Potter. Off topic, um, but I was so happy for Delboy last night. Good fight, obviously. Derek Chisora beating Pulev on points last night and then calling out Deontay Wilder. It's obviously, once he's big payday rather than actually thinking he can win that, I believe. That'd be a good <laughs> fight, though. I, I'd, yeah, I'd watch be a it. Good fight, mate. I, I, mate I, I've always said I'd like to see Denon White versus. Uh, um, Deontay Wilder, I think that'd be a great fight. Um, if you could go on a lads' night out with three of the current members of the squad, which three players would you choose? Ooh. Um, hmm. Oh, Dex looks like a good geezer, to be fair. Yeah, Dex, top, top Dex, Dex, uh, Dex, 
I would. Uh, oh, trying to think. Okay. It depends what type of night out you want, doesn't it? If yeah. you wanted a madness one, you would probably like Dex Dawson. All the young um, boys. Yeah. Uh. No, I reckon Dawson. I reckon Dawson's a bit of a madman. Um, Antonio uh, probably. He's probably a very funny geezer. Likes to dance. Um, I reckon Pablo for now. I reckon he'd be a good laugh. Yeah, on the night he seems out. got a good laugh. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I've won that one. Um, I'd rather end Nesri over Ben Brett and Diaz. Um, I think El Nesri is massively undervalued right now uh, because of a poor season due to recovery from COVID. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind him. We know that Moyes liked him before. Um, and I know people are saying that they, they didn't think he looked that good against us. I thought he did look good against us. I thought he was winning most of the balls in the air. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he had that. He had the great shot that Ariola saved, if I remember. I'm sure it was him who had the shot. Um, yeah. One player that I think we should have signed from Seville as well is a compass, the left winger. I, I mm. think we should have been all over him. That was the rumours, wasn't it? Um, that we got offered both of them uh, at one point for... That compass is really good. Really, really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, but that sort of went quiet. Maybe that was just agent talk. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, and Nesri, I, I wouldn't be against at all. Yeah. I'd, I'd just, again, if you're... And Nesri over Diaz, yeah, I agree with that 100%. And Nesri over Broya, I'd rather have Broya. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question, that one, yeah. Uh, let's get through these comments. Um, it's nice to have pace, but remember, we have beaten all the teams that do have pace. Yeah, I think I think it's just to have a plan B, though, mate, I think. Rather mm. than actually, I'm not even saying a pace player to start. I'm saying being able to look on the bench and go, let's get him on and get him up against yeah. them fullbacks. You know, someone who can really... Sh- We've seen it so many times against us where St. Maxim comes on, Traore comes on or whatever, and just absolutely destroy us for pace. And that's... It's just having that fear factor on the bench so the other manager has to think about it. Uh, Matt Rennie says, I still want Jesse. Sorry. Listen, Fair if enough, he comes, mate, I'm not going to be disappointed, but I just wish it was done. Mm. Um, I would like to take Madison... Uh, but we all know that Moyes did not rate him at his time at Norwich. But takes a great free kick. Yeah, he's a good player, uh, Madison. Um, again, don't think we'd be able to get him. Uh, should have signed Dan Juma last season for 20 million. Um, I mentioned him. Now it's doubled. Paul, that's probably one of the best shirts I've seen that ain't a West Ham shirt. Loads of people Yeah, it's like a good one, mate. Today. It's a good one. That's uh... a great shirt, mate. It is a great shirt. Uh, Lingard has become boring. I'm over Lingard. I'm just skipping through here, obviously catching up now with a chat. Thank you for all the comments, guys. But uh Jess did want did what yeah. anyone would do if they could go back to their boy old club, but sadly Oli mugged him off. I really don't want Lingard now. Ishmael San Gramondi, also rep- uh, represented by Wasserman Agency. That is the agency that um the new managers Down. yeah. No war uh war button. Warburton, I believe, the same company. Uh, Lewis Potter Brozier on the left back, and I'll be happy. I'll be buzzing, mate, if we get there. Um, we made the choice. Uh, right, let's go here. Uh, rumours are that Sonny and Gold are having a Barney with Kretensky about money opinions. Anything, mate, on that? Yeah, well, the last thing that I saw regarding that were, and, and I think this was common anyway, We uh, common knowledge that Kretensky most of his money's tied up in Russia, which obviously ain't a, a great place for his money to be right now. Um, and the latest that I saw was that he can't, he wants out. He can't take up the option to buy the club. Mm. Um, and if that's the case, then I can understand Sullivan and Gold being a bit, oh, hang on a minute. We thought we had our payday here. We thought we had this all arranged and it might not be happening. So, you know, yeah, I can uh, I can understand that being true, uh, uh, but uh, you know, it is all it's all uh, I heard this, I heard that. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, no one yeah. really knows what's going on. We'll find out, mate, in a few months' time, March sort of time. Uh, Potter wants first team football. It said Moyes can't guarantee him, and that's why we've called out interest. Um, not seen this link with many left backs. Have a bad feeling Moyes will forget it and just put Johnson to left back. I hope not. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I, th- I think um, I think he's wising up, Moyes. I have to say, I think he's he's realising, you know, that he can't leave himself short because he's done it too many times the last couple of seasons. And, mm-hmm. you know, if, and if we wouldn't have left ourselves short, I think we would have achieved something. 
Now, Masoud Brozier may be meeting up with the training squad later, um, although it seems like if we were seriously injured back in plan next season, he would have been involved from the start. Um, just having a look here for some comments. Hi, Luke. I enjoy the show. Uh, we need to move on. We do. We do, mate. We, we certainly, certainly do. Um, Masueku is like a team mascot. Um, whenever Masueku is on the ball, my heart rate dangerously increases. Uh, Nuno Mendes, obviously PSG guy, was on loan to PSG. Uh, and he reminds me of a young Masu. Uh, with skill and pace, great awareness. Um, I'll take him on loan and try to spend some money. I think it will cost you a small fortune, mate. You know, mm. one of the... I think he's one of the highest rated left backs. Are there any young left backs? One of the biggest prospects. Um, do you think we need to go all out to win the Europa Conference League, which gets you into Europa League, as it will be tough to get top six with Newcastle or maybe Villa who have spent bundle, bundles? Yeah, you know, it's a trophy. Uh, look how much it meant to Roma. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Roma's first ever European trophy last year. Um, listen, we'd all be buzzing if we're lifting a trophy, you know, in May next year. Why not? Yeah, I think that's, to be fair, mate, I think that's the bigger thing for me, not to win it, to get into the Europa League, to win it because it's a trophy. You know, you just start, to win a trophy. Momentum, mate. You know, you win a yeah. trophy, you start believing you can win more. Look, we've mm -hmm. seen it with Leicester, you know, they've won Premier League, they've won an FA Cup, they got to a good quarterfinal, or I think it was quarterfinal of the Champions League when they got there. It's, it's about building momentum and you've got to mm. get that winning. Winning is the most addictive thing, footballers say. You know, once you've won one, you want the next one. Mm. Yeah, yeah, right. You were right, mate. Uh, Cuckoo is fine-annoyed. Um, City and Liverpool first, then Spurs and Chelsea third and fourth. Arsenal, Man United, or Hammers, Newcastle, Villa to back it out for sixth or seventh. Yeah, I think I think it could be about right there, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. Tyler Roberts uh, from Leeds, eight to fifteen million. Um, yes or no? Can't say I know much better, mate. Do you? Uh, no, no, I can't say I do. I'll yeah, trust your but, judgment on that one. Yeah, mate, I can't say I know much about him, Matt. Sorry. Uh, where do you think we'll finish in the league this season? And how far do you think we'll get in the Europe for Champions League Conference? Champions League Conference. Uh, Champions conference. League Conference. That's <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> that would sound better, though, wouldn't it? It would be a better name for it. Um, top eight. Um, and I think, you know, as long as we get into the group stage, I still a little bit fearful that we might slip up in that playoff. Mm. Um, you know, I'd expect us to go a good quarterfinal in that. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, I, I'd agree with that. Yeah, I think, like you say, I think top eight again, um, really to sort of con consolidate us um, as that, as a kind of, you know, top eight, best of the rest. Yeah. Sort of in and around there. Um, and then, yeah, I want to see us go on a good run in the uh, Europa Conference yeah, definitely, mate. And then that leads on to this question. Um, if we finish 8th or 11th, is that an underachievement? I think that will depend so on how we're doing the Cups. I think it depends on how we're doing the Cups. I think if we if we go on runs in the FA, say the FA Cup, and we and we end up, you know, going far in the Conference League, and we finish 8th, 10th, I think that's fine. I think mm. 11th, I don't think, I think, Bottom half, it would be a massive underachievement mm. on the back of the last couple of you seasons. You would like European football again, but it's, it is going to be tough. It's going to be mm. really, really tough to get that again. It is if one for you to think about, mate. If, if we don't do well in the cups and we end up going out early in the conference, we need to be pushing. And then, yeah, eight four, I think, will be a disappointment. Antonio on left with a proper striker up there would be great. I wouldn't be against that, mate. I wouldn't. No, I, wouldn't I, be I, against I, that. I wouldn't actually. I wouldn't. Mate, yeah. I just maybe. don't want Antonio to be our main striker. That's yeah. it. I just don't want that. Uh, yeah, play Antonio on the left and put a proper strike up front. I would not be against that at all. Yeah. Although we would definitely need a proper left back then. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think one big thing we need to sort out in the coming season is figuring out how to play against the back five. Uh, pretty sure we lost most of our games uh, we played against back five. Yeah, anyone who played, you know, them that low block, two centre-backs, Antonio could do nothing in them games. And, it's, you know, having someone who can break that down... And as much as we've, you know, dug him out a little bit today, someone like Lingard has that capability to do that magic. Yeah, he, he does. does. Yeah. Well, he did last time he was here. Yeah, he did last time. We've done it. Uh, Walburton's daughter's agency. Um, European 
uh, Conference League qualifying round without Declan Weiss. Obviously, yeah, two games he'll miss. But then, you know, you'd hope that... Um, Cresswell you know, suspended as well, isn't he? Who's that? Ooh, Cresswell. Oh, yes, yes, you're right. Yeah, I think so, as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, yeah that'd be interesting. You know, the, te- the level of team we will be playing, you would, ex- you would hope, you know, that... Uh, a so check and a Lanzini or a so check and a Downs possibly, um, you know, will be good enough to overcome that. But we all remember Astra Gugu. No, mate, we do. <laughs> and, mate, and, oh, Tottenham ve- really, really went close to going out to Paco mm. Rabanne last year. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Paco, Paco Ferreira Rabanne or whatever they're bloody called. I want to go to that bloody football ground with a train track around it. Did you not see that in Europa League last year? There's one with no. like a little toy train track that goes around the stadium. No, oh, look at that out one. I can't remember what ground it was. Uh, Pat Pong should not be an issue if we really think we can win it. Um, with Dex not playing the first two games in the Conference League, uh, Dan's will get his chance to show what he can do. You'd hope so, mate. You'd hope so. Um, thanks, lads. I'm off to Uncle Duty's. Um, if the boy is lucky, hopefully either a home or away shirt today. Good man, Matt. Nice one. That's, Cheers. That's a good uncle. Yeah, that's a good uncle. Um, what inspires me in the next few days um, are really quiet and then all of a sudden we close the signing of someone. Yeah, I agree, mate. Talking about that uncle one, didn't you have one a few weeks ago, mate, where you bought your nephew a West Ham shirt and he got told you had to buy the nieces something as well? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's fine. I'll buy them all West Ham. Yeah, they're West Ham. Yeah. Went, went round to see him. There's a new, new, I'm a new uncle for the fourth time now. Went and see him, went and see the baby yesterday. And um, and I was told that my nephew was wearing the West Ham shirt the other day. I was quite pleased. But then I was also told a couple of days later he was wearing an Arsenal shirt. So sure. we need to sort that out. We yeah. need to sort that out. <laughs> <laughs> right, nearly getting through these comments, then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, we can lose um, and not worry one bit about Vlasic. What a waste of money. 30 million was misdreaming again. Um, also, Masaweka and Randolph, none would make it out. One iota difference to the squad. Yeah, I agree. I don't think them three could go. Uh, smash the like button. Thanks, Matt. Uh, Mark Walburton will be our manager for our first conference league. Yeah, you're right. That's a really good point there. Um, could Moyes end up being a victim of his own success if we lost five or six games and went out of Europe early? That's a bloody good question. Yeah, and the scary we thing panicking, is... Wouldn't we? <laughs> to quote yeah. that video, no one panicking. And it, it, the scary thing is, if you look at our form on the back end of last season, it's not out of the realms of possibility either. No, really mate, you know, if we don't hit the ground running, um, you know, God forbid we get an in from Man City on the first game, which could happen. Mm. You know, you could have the Harlan show. Um, yeah, you know, we just got to hope that we can, you know, start on the good again. You know, if we have a decent pre-season, I know, you know, people always say, oh, the Avon Grant year, we didn't concede a goal and, you know, won every single game. But last year we had a really good pre-season as well. And, mm. you know, sometimes just get that bit of confidence back. You know, you've had a bit of time to rest. And it is a World Cup year. It is a World yeah. Cup year. Players are playing for that World Cup place. So sometimes you get that extra 10, 20% more because players want that World Cup spot. Um are West Ham now keeping quiet about transfers to stop clubs like Newcastle and Man United by checking the deals? Makes sense. You know, every player we're linked with, Newcastle coming for them as well. So it does make sense. I don't know. I mean, you see that, but... Sometimes it's not I, West Ham, though. Sometimes it's no, not West Ham that leaks. I mean, I, I think realistically, in the football world, everyone knows what everyone's doing. If you're, if you, if you're an agent and you represent a player that West Ham are interested in, that agent straight away is going to, if there are clubs like Newcastle or Man mm. United interested, they'll be tatting them around straight away. The first mm. thing that agent's going to do, regardless of what West Ham says, is He's go available. to Newcastle and go, accepted. listen, yeah. West Ham's in for him. If you're interested, get this done, is what yeah. it's going to take to get it done. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So mm. I, I think it's a bit naive to think that any club can do deals completely in secret nowadays. I just don't think that's possible. No, I don't think so, mate. Uh, Chris Will must be only a backup now. Um, only plays the ball backwards. Benny and four nails can do the mm. job uh, to stopping off crosses as Chris Will has no pace yet. Yeah, I agree. I agree, yeah. Still a place for him in the team, but yeah, mm. shouldn't be starting. 
good stream today, uh, Thanks, lads. Pat. Please hit the like button. Yep. Thanks for joining, Pat. Right, last one. Um, either of you watching the Wimbledon final today, also, what do you think of the away kit? We mentioned the away kit earlier, Dabs. Um, we like it. I think, I think it's quite all right, actually. Um, it's a nice kit. I didn't like the goalie kit, though. I really <laughs> yeah, liked it, mate. Madness. That was, that the, was madness. The, I, I said earlier, I, I loved, I like the away kit a lot, but it should have been the third kit, not the away kit. Mate, that grey goalkeeper top, I, I thought it looked really good on. Yeah. Like, I thought, I thought on Fabianski, I thought he looked class. I thought it looked really good, to be honest. Not that I'd buy a goalkeeper kit, but I actually thought it looked really good. Um, and Wimbledon final, yeah, I might switch it on for a little bit when I'm in the garden later having a sunbathe. But, I haven't uh, watched but... any 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 of Wimbledon at all this year. I watched the I watched the English geezer Nori. Uh, but who's in the final? Uh, uh, what's his name? Djokovic and Kiriosk. Mm. Kiriosk. I imagine Djokovic is favourite. That yeah, should be yeah. Uh, Suchek needs a proper rest, uh, captain for his country. Uh, but if a bid for 40 million come in, I would accept it. Would you accept 40 million? That, I know yeah, we, I said would, we yeah. wouldn't want to sell him, but would you accept 40? I would accept 40. I would, yeah, because I don't think, I don't think we, we I don't think he's going to be worth that again, if that mm. makes sense. I don't want to sell him, and I, I don't want to sell him. And I don't uh, think, 40 million is a bloody good price. Yeah, and I don't think all of a sudden he's a bad player either. I really don't, no. and I, I think he does need a proper rest. Um, and I think then we'll see what we saw in the first season again. But yeah, 40 million would be a tough one to turn down. So just got a couple more comments that have come through here. Um, Eddie Al is with that Weizerman agency, obviously, uh, at Newcastle. Uh, great show, lads. Uh, good to have you back. Thanks. Like I say, it's been a bit choppy with it in recent weeks because, you know, if me and Paul do a show every week, there's not enough news at the minute. But obviously, mm. you know, there's only a couple of weeks and then the season starts and then we'll be back every week, apart from when I'm in Turkey for a couple of days. Um, you know, that's the only time we're going to have a little bit of a break. Um, I heard West Ham are currently looking at David Brown. Um, is he any good? Obviously, he's a left back. Um, yeah, by all accounts, he's good. You know, on Twitter, you know, people be saying that would be a really good signing. Um, and that's always a good sign, you know, to see how clubs are reacting to it. Like, oh, if West Ham signing him, is a good mm. player. Like, same with that Downs, when he, when he signed, you know, um, the clubs were devastated that sold him, you know, Swansea were like, oh, good luck to him, you know, we've lost a fantastic player, West Ham have signed a brilliant player, that's always a good sign, when mm. clubs are devastated. Um, God, I agree with refs, kids, I'm just sorry, just laughing at the comment there. <laughs> no. uh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Dan, I'll tell you what, mate, right? You know what, I'm you sorry. should do it one time, you know, you know one time you should do I, like a little 10, 20 I would minutes. love to, yeah, no, I would, I'll do a, like, I've, I've got, I don't even know, I've got well over 100 kits now, 100 and, yeah, you could do 20, like, 130 like, kits. Oh, like, uh, I would. Kits. Yeah, I'll do Here a video of. I'll do a video of showing off my favourite kits. Yeah, I'll do that, and I'll get Bowden on Bowden collects kits as well. Yeah. So you know, uh, like Sky Sports, where it's like, uh, what shirt did you wear? <laughs> you know, like when yeah, they do them yeah. Ones. No, I, I would do that. Yeah, I'd that would be a good that, video. Actually, yeah. Too, yeah. yeah. Um, Thomas getting uh, World Cup time off second half of the season. He will flourish. Uh, I'm off for Rangers preseason buzzing. Yeah, it'd be a good one that one. Um, Hickey gone to Brentford. Rico Henry must be for Sal. I didn't even think of that. Obviously, Aaron Hickey is joined from Bologna, a player we were linked with. Um, mm. Yeah, Rico Henry, I've always said I liked him. Fantastic yeah. player. Whenever he plays against us, he always looks good. Um, yeah, why not Why not test the water with a bid there? Uh, would you take Dennis from Watford? Yes, I, I like him. Uh, can play on that left-hand side as well, and he's fast. And last one. Um, yeah, you should rank all the Premier League kits for next. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a good. We could do that as a little sort of ten-minute show, couldn't we? That one, a little rank the kits for next year. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we've been going for fifty-five minutes, um, a little bit longer than what we expected. Uh, thank you for commenting along um, the show. It's always a pleasure. Um, I think we're only about eight videos away from our thousandth video as well. I was looking. I think we've done wow. nine hundred and ninety-two videos. Uh, so you know, I'll save the thousandth video for a podcast. So that'd be nice to celebrate that one. Um, and it's not far away from 4K, as I say every week, but it really isn't that far now at all. Um, but yeah, enjoy your day, guys. Enjoy the week. And hopefully we sign another player this week. Till next time, come on, so. your irons. Keep believing. And let's go. Cheers.